everyone and welcome back to Sonia's Prep. In this week's video, I wanted to share with you how I make my amazing matzo ball soup recipe. It is here. I finally finished making it and I cannot wait to share the recipe with you. We enjoy it here in our family and I think you will enjoy it with your family as well, especially that now Passover is coming up. This is my go-to recipe to make and I actually don't only make it on Passover. It is that good. I make it year round. So I hope that you guys enjoy this recipe. Now let's get into it and I'll show you just how I made it. So to make this amazingly delicious matzo ball soup, these are the ingredients that I will be using. I'm gonna use an entire head of celery. I have carrots here. I'm gonna be using this, let's see, this is a 16 ounce bag. I'm gonna be using this entire bag and half of this one. Also about three onions, five cloves of garlic. I have six or seven chicken legs here and any of your favorite matzo ball mixes. This is the one that I'm using today. I'm gonna to just peel everything now and start slicing it up. Now everything is washed and cleaned and we're ready to get chopping. I just set up my station over here so that I can place everything once it's chopped into their bowls so that cooking it goes very, very quickly. I smash up the garlic and slice them very thinly. For the onions, I slice them in half and then dice them up. For the carrots, I prefer to get these thin kinds of carrots, not those thick ones, because they just look nicer in the soup. I also slice them, I guess I mean like three millimeters in uh, width. I don't do it too thin because I don't want them to turn into mush in the soup. Lastly, I take the celery and slice them as thin as I possibly can so that they get cooked through really nicely in the soup. Now that all of the ingredients are prepped, we're ready to get started. Into a pot, I add in about two to three tablespoons of oil. I'm using avocado oil here. And once that gets heated up, I'm gonna be adding in the onions. I saute them for about two minutes and then add in the celery. At this point, I like to add in my salt. I usually add in about two to three teaspoons. You could add salt to taste here. It just helps the vegetables cook up faster. 
Then I added my sliced garlic, my one tablespoon of chicken consomme seasoning, three bay leaves, some black pepper, and I add in the carrots here as well. I mix everything thoroughly and let it saute for a bit. After about two to three minutes of it being sauteed, I'm going to be adding in the chicken legs here and some warm water to cover the top. I believe this is a five quart pot that I have here. So I'll be filling it up with water, give everything a final mix, and then closing up the lid and let it cook for one hour. While I wait for the soup to start boiling, I'm going to be making the matzo balls. So I'm just gonna look at the side of the container and I'm gonna follow exactly what they say. So I'm gonna add in two large eggs and a fourth cup of vegetable oil, mix it and let it stand for 15 minutes. And then an hour after the soup is boiling, I'm gonna be dropping in the matzo balls. So here are the two eggs. A quarter cup of oil goes in next. You could use any oil. And then the matzo ball mix. Gonna mix everything thoroughly until everything is combined well. The longer that it sits, the more thicker it gets and the easier it is to roll out your matzo balls. Okay, that's it. Just gonna leave it so it can thicken up. So it's been about an hour since the soup has started to boil and I'm ready to drop in my matzo balls. I make the matzo balls quite small because they do puff up, puff up to about double its size. Time for the taste test and I'm going to show you how incredibly soft and delicious these matzo balls are. Just look how fluffy and soft. Oh my. Let's get a little bit of everything in here. Perfect. I'm going to have a little bit of the You guys are going to love it. It is so flavorful, so delicious. We've got to make it. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Happy Passover from my family to yours.